This vaccine could be a shining light in this pandemic, but there is still progress to be made by health officials before we could see it being distributed here in Connecticut. Nine months since the pandemic began and more than 10 million confirmed cases later, the U.S. is one step closer to a vaccine. Thanks to Pfizer, which has a facility in Groton and Germany based BioNTech. So what stage is the vaccine at right now? Well, Pfizer's John Burkhardt says early data from their trial consisting of 43,538 volunteers shows the vaccine is 90 percent effective. 90 plus uh, percent uh, effectiveness. That means protecting patients vaccinated from getting a COVID infection. Burkhardt says the company needs a few more weeks to complete safety data as individuals need to receive two injections to be vaccinated. The safety component is still reading out. We would like to get at least 60 days post second injection, two injections to immunize the patient. So a 60 day runtime and at least six of the volunteers in the study. Any compromises people should worry about in terms of uh, safety? With, with this particular vaccine, no corners were cut. We followed this tried and true methodology that has worked so well for us in the past and continues to deliver really superior and safe products. Parallel to the trial, Pfizer has also begun manufacturing the vaccine. So following approval from the FDA, there could be millions of doses available across the country. Who will receive the vaccine first in our area is still being figured out, according to Trinity Health. Once we have a vaccine available and we understand that the supply is going to be less than the demand, um, this subcommittee will be responsible for creating a prioritization of who we will administer the vaccine to first. And how the potential vaccine will be distributed is also in the works. We're partnering with hospitals, healthcare systems, and local health departments to, to find out who has the capacity for things like storing the vaccine, which, you know, takes special instrumentation, uh, so that once the vaccine lands, and it sounds like we're going to have it in the very near future, uh, we will be prepared to appropriately allocate uh, the vaccine to the citizens of the state of Connecticut. Connecticut's contribution to the fight against COVID doesn't stop there. Governor Lamont pointing out three people with ties to the state who now will be joining the Biden-Harris COVID-19 advisory board, including Yale Associate Professor Dr. Marcella Nunez-Smith, who served on Connecticut's reopening committee. Her thinking is, is, is woven throughout our COVID response, and we're so proud um, that she's been chosen for this uh, amazing um, responsibility and uh, have tremendous confidence she's going to do an amazing job leading uh, us forward, uh, advising uh, the president-elect. Now the U.S. signed a contract with Pfizer back in July, agreeing to purchase 100 million doses of their COVID-19 vaccine. The company says a final submission of their vaccine to the FDA is possible by the end of this month. In Hartford, Nia Maldonado, Fox 61 News.